Okay. So my name is Mike Bouchon. I think I know most of you via Twitter and uh, probably most of you through past NFD events. About half of you guys have been to, to Plexi ones. Um, just as a way of introduction, uh, I've been at Plexi a little over a year. Um, I run marketing, so I'm officially on the dark side now. Um, that being said, I used to run product management when I was at Juniper, so I, I'm, uh, I feel comfortably close to product where I can say stuff that sounds like it's really techy and smart, but far enough away that you can't blame me if I'm wrong. Um, so I'm in kind of that sweet spot in my career, which I think will last another, uh, another year or so. Um, as we look at the, the NFD stuff, some of you actually might know me in the past as the Verf Smurf. Um, and I'm gonna, <laughs> so I'm gonna, and that was a Juniper reference to, to me with blue paint and dressed up like a, a Smurf. Um, I, I'm gonna mention that because I think when we look at sort of NFD and how NFD evolved and, and continues to evolve, um, uh, you know, I've been asked before if I'm gonna show up again in like a new costume. Um, and I actually have a couple of costumes I've picked out for this. Um, but I, I think that we, we, there's an interesting balance that we have to, to navigate through the NFD stuff. And it has to be, you know, kind of form versus function. I think we, we tend to, or the, the risk is that you turn it more into entertainment and theater, more show, and it becomes more about the presentation, less about the technology. Um, and so, you know, in trying to, trying to to, to stay more on the technology side, um, we're putting together a presentation that we've tried to tailor based on everyone's individual interests and experience. Um, and so what we've done, we spent a little bit of time looking at, you know, it's a tough room for us to present to you because about half of you guys know what we do. You've been in previous NFD events with us before and so we've told our story. Um, what we have to do is we have to, to thread the needle where we rehash some of that to get everyone up to speed and provide a level playing field for everybody um, and then build on that. Um, and then in the, I guess along the lines of trying to make it more real, um, if you look at what Plexi does, I think we've had a, we have a fairly sophisticated story, right? If you look at major technologies being on the cusp of, you know, SDN and certainly all the hype that goes with that. Um, you look at photonic switching and, and, and silicon photonics in general, and kind of all the hype that sort of goes around in that space. You look at DevOps, particularly in a networking context. Um, one of the things that we need to do is, is not just talk about the technologies, but put them into context in terms of use cases and, and kind of deployment scenarios. And so what you'll see out of today's presentation is more of a, a slant towards that direction. Um, at the same time, and so the, the um, uh, we're also doing work in the open source community, so most people know about Open Daylight. Um, and so the, the second part of our presentation, we'll talk a bit about, about what we're doing from an Open Daylight perspective. Uh, the agenda is in front of you guys, and so we've, in terms of how we've split this up, um, Plexi views the world through the lens of what we call workload and workflow. Um, within the network, you've got workload requirements. You have to move packets from A to B. Um, and so there's things that we do with the physical switch. And so the first, essentially, you know, 40 minutes of today will be focused on workload. Even, or, uh, and even within that workload uh, context, we'll talk more about software than we do about hardware. So um, if you were to ask me what Plexi does, I'd say that we're a math company. Um, we disguise ourselves as a software company that's masquerading as a hardware company. Um, and so, um, the, 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 you know, the presentation today will reflect really our software roots and kind of what we do. Uh, the second half of the day, so if workload is about moving packets from here to there, then workflow is about how do you actually use this stuff. Uh, capability and isolation is useless. Um, and so we view everything that we do as, as part of a broader context. The question is how do you integrate with that context? Most of the discussion about interoperability immediately flocks to protocol support. Do you support this feature, that feature, whatever? I'll just point out that integration goes well beyond plugging in the Ethernet cables to adjacent networking devices. Um, it's about how do you use things alongside, you know, uh, provisioning capacity planning systems, provisioning systems, help desk ticketing systems. And so we look at data and, and information as the, the currency for integration. And so we'll spend the second part of our presentation talking about what we're doing from an affinity perspective, what our plans are around you know, with open daylight and what is it that we've actually open sourced? How do we go and apply some of that open source stuff to do things that are useful? Again, bringing the theory back into context. And then we'll talk more about some of the concepts that we've outlined in previous presentations, specifically the data services engine or the DSE. Um, and so roughly that's how we're gonna, we'll frame the day out. Um, and so with that, I wanna just use that to, 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 to set up the next couple of speakers. Um, before we get into those speakers, is there, are there any questions about how we've structured the day or kind of the content that we'll cover? No? Okay. Um, and so I'm not going to hit the next slide. Nils, you're going to, we'll, we'll let Nils talk. Can we, uh, can we make Nils go live for a moment? Because he's going to explain the next slide. 
uh, put Mills on for just two minutes. That's, uh, that's me. So the, um, we, we've handed some stuff out to you guys. Um, and so the, I guess the first question that Mills wants to ask is, do you know what exactly. we gave you? Since everyone has already looked at the package, you know, you probably have already seen what's inside. Um, there's a little pun here. I, I don't know, do you guys know about juice jacking? Uh, juice jacking, everyone does it in the airport, trying to you know, just load up your iPhone or iDevice or whatnot. And part of the challenge there is uh, you take some information or electricity in this case, and you try to feed it in your system. Now the segue into sort of Plexi is sort of the DSC. We're trying to do the exact same thing. We're trying to take information from higher levels uh, in the entire infrastructure and feed that into the Plexi uh, system. Now, the obvious question is, what do you do about security? Well, at least the first step from a security perspective is to guard against juice jacking, or the, the act of inserting malware as soon as you plug in your USB somewhere. Um, it's a little PC board that you have. It's a pretty cool little project from a company in, in Portland. What that basically does is, if you stick it between the USB port that you're going to plug into and your phone, it'll pass through uh, electricity, but it will prevent any data communication from happening. So you can safely uh, plug it yourself into you know, the car that you're uh, certainly in or, uh, you know, in the airplane where they've got a That's new entertainment cool. system. You'll get full power through it, uh, but none of the sort of the nastiness. Um, and maybe in one of the next NFDs, we'll show everything about sort of security in relation to the DSC and how we're enabling juice jacking, we're preventing um, malware from, or nasty information from entering <coughs> the system. So it's one of the hopeful useful little gifts. Okay, so with that, then uh, we'll get it directly into some of the content. Um, I'm going to introduce Martin Terpstra. Uh, Martin is in product management. He's been with Plexi for, he's one of the, uh, of the four of us, he has the longest tenure at Plexi. Um, you know, we're a startup, but he, he's a couple years in. Um, and uh, from a, a, oh, and then he is Martin, uh, Martin T1999 on Twitter. If you want to harass him, send him questions, or uh, take interesting photos and Photoshop things on top of him. Okay.